Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The Danish Refugee Council orchestrated a demonstration of the Swiss-made GCS-200 demoning machine in Mykolaiv, heralding its debut in Ukraine. Prior to this, mine clearance endeavors relied solely on manual labor by deminers. However, the introduction of the GCS-200 demoning machines promises a significant acceleration of this process, liberating deminers from hazardous and labor-intensive tasks. The momentum of mechanical demoning operations in Ukraine, particularly in the Mykolaiv region, owes much to vital support from the German Federal Foreign Office. The Danish Refugee Council, DRC, is leveraging this financial backing to acquire and operate two GCS-200 demoning machines. While the first machine has already been deployed, the second is anticipated to arrive next month. Remarkably, the remote-controlled GCS-200 machine boasts the capability to clear up to 12,000 square meters of land per day, a feat 200 times more efficient than manual demoning efforts. This substantial leap forward, facilitated by Germany, enhances Ukraine's capacity to secure its territory and safeguard its populace from the perils of mines and explosive remnants of war. Engineered by the Swiss company GCS, the GCS-200 is purpose-built for demanding mine clearance tasks, proficient in neutralizing both AP and at mines in challenging terrains. Its sturdy V-shaped hull, constructed from high-strength steel, ensures optimal survivability in high-threat environments. Operated remotely via integrated camera systems, it enables precise and safe demoning operations within a broad range of 300M, 3500M, equipped with tiller and flail mechanisms capable of penetrating depths up to 31.50 cm and 30.50 cm respectively. This demoning machine features an infinitely variable hydrostatic travel drive for each track, powered by hydraulic motors from the Allison gearbox. Furthermore, it boasts a versatile manipulator outfitted with a range of tools for various tasks such as IED disposal, UXO and AXO removal, and heavy object lifting, with capacities ranging from 650 kg to 2000 kg. Its components and resilient materials ensure durability even in adverse climatic conditions. Easily transportable via a 20-foot ISO container, it offers logistical flexibility across roads, railways, and airports. The mechanical demoning initiative arrives at a critical juncture, as the UN reports over 1,000 civilian casualties resulting from mines and explosive remnants of war since February 2022. With more than 6 million Ukrainians still at risk of mine contamination, expediting demoning operations is paramount to saving lives and facilitating the swift reconstruction of Ukraine. It is estimated that nearly 180,000 square kilometers of Ukrainian land, an area half the size of Germany, could potentially be affected by mines and other explosive devices. That's all for now. See you later.